Nikki Meiberg from Jubilee Bros Solar South Africa. And I'm Nick Lusson from Jubilee Bros Solar East Africa. And today we're going to show you the Huawei Sun 2000 50 60 KTL M0 inverter. The Huawei Sun 2000 50 and 60 KTL M0 inverter. Now the 50 KTL and the 60 KTL are two different models, but they look exactly the same. So this video applies to both models. The 50 KTL has a rated output of 50 kW AC with a maximum output of 55 kVA. The 60 KTL has a rated output of 60 kW AC with a maximum output of 66 kVA. Now the TL in the name means that it has transformer less topology inside the inverter. M0 denotes medium voltage, so these inverters have an output of 400 or 480 VAC and they can accept 1000 volts of DC power on their inputs. So these inverters are actually ideal for commercial and industrial solar installation. With 98.7 efficiency, you can be sure you are getting the most of your solar power possible. These models have a lower startup voltage and a lower minimum operating voltage than our nearest competitors, which means longer operating times every day, which adds up to a big difference in yield. It has type 2 surge arresters for both AC and DC. The IP65 rating means it's both waterproof and dustproof. This inverter can perform in the harshest conditions. And you get the industry leading failure rate at less than 0.5% which means out of a thousand inverters, less than five will have a problem. Now, it also has a built-in IV curve diagnostics and touch-free operation to keep your O&M cost very low. Now let's look at the connections. So now we're looking at the bottom of the inverter. Here you can see the air vent where cool air will enter and the hot air will be removed from the top. This inverter uses fanless natural cooling. The heat sink on the back is very effective at keeping the inverter at the right temperature. We recommend at least 600 mm of clearance for it to be able to work properly. These are the DC inputs. And this model has 6 MPPTs as you can see more clearly from 1 to 6. Each MPPT can take 2 strings. That's why it has the positive input and the negative input which groups it into 4. These are the DC disconnect switches, which is each connected to three MPPTs. You can switch off the power to the DC side safely before maintenance without losing the production of the whole inverter. Here we have a USB port that is used during commissioning. Simply unscrew the cap. Now you can insert this USB stick that comes with the inverter. This will create a short range Wi-Fi signal so you can connect your laptop or smartphone and set the parameters of your inverter. Once you've done that, you can remove the USB stick and return the screw cap so that it keeps its IP65 rating which means it's waterproof and dustproof. Here you have cable access to the AC compartment. These are for the communication cables and you can use whichever port looks best for you. And this one is for the AC output cables, leaving the AC compartment. You can access the AC compartment with this Allen wrench and these screws here. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked this video and now you feel more comfortable with this inverter. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you need more information, reach out to us through our website at jubaileybros.com.